Hi, this is Togo. This is for freeing up pelvis, hips, legs, and head. About relationships among pelvis, hips, spine, and head. Address pelvic club. Lie on your back. Observe how your body lies on the floor. Pay attention to your heels, calf muscles, knees, the back of the knees, hips, pelvis, lower back, ribs, shoulder blades, and the head. How do you breathe? As you breathe in, which moves first, abdomen or chest? As you breathe out, which moves first, abdomen or chest? How do your palms rest on the floor? Palms up or palms down? Are your elbows bent or straight? How does your head rest? Chin up or down? Now bend your knees and spread them so that the sole of your feet touch each other. Move them a little bit nearer to yourself and a little bit away from yourself. Do that several times until you can find the place where you feel just right. Neither too far away nor too near. Place both hands with palms down on the floor, either side of the body, and point elbows out without straining. Now slowly tilt your pelvis towards your right knee a little, so your weight shifts towards your right knee and your right side goes into the direction of the floor. Then return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. Make the movement small and easy. Relax your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, and legs. When your pelvis tilts towards your right knee, the weight of your left buttock lifts a little, and your lower back arches slightly, and your body gets a little longer. How does your head move? Same side, opposite side, push down to the floor, keep breathing freely. Now slowly tilt your pelvis towards your left knee a little, so your weight shifts towards your left knee, and your left side goes into the direction of the floor, then return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. Make the movement small and easy. Relax your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, and legs. When your pelvis tilt toward your left knee, the weight of your right buttock lifts a little, and your lower back arches slightly, and your body gets a little longer. How does your head move? Same side, opposite side, push down to the floor, Keep breathing freely. Slowly tilt your pelvis towards your right knee, so your weight shift towards your right knee. Return to the starting position, and then slowly tilt your pelvis towards your left knee, so your weight shift towards your left knee. Repeat the movement several times. When your pelvis tilt towards your right knee, the ribs on your left side move closer together and arch a little. When your pelvis tilt towards your left knee, the lips on your right side move closer together and arch a little. Notice the head tend to do the same thing as the pelvis in a small measure. Because the spine moves and the cervical vertebrae move a little, therefore the head moves a little. Don't move it intentionally, just observe. When the pelvis moves to the left, the head moves a little to the left. When the pelvis moves to the right, the head moves a little to the right. Obviously, you can also hold the head, move the head in the opposite direction, whatever you want. Compare two sides to see which one is easier, tilting the pelvis to the right or to the left. Don't hurry, don't push, just see which side is easier for you. Notice what is the difference. Back to the middle, 
Now slowly tilt your pelvis backward and pull your abdomen backward a little so that you lift the lower part of the pelvis from the floor and press the small of the back a little toward the floor and return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. Make the movement small. Just slowly tilt your pelvis back slightly. Relax your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, and legs. Keep breathing freely. Notice that when you tilt your pelvis back, your weight shifts towards your back and your knees close a little. Also notice that when you tilt your pelvis back, your chin goes up slightly. Now slowly tilt your pelvis forward and push your abdomen forward a little so that you lift the small of the back from the floor and arch it slightly. Create a space under the small of the back and the lower part of the pelvis, the tailbone goes down toward the floor and return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. Make the movement small, just slowly tilt your pelvis forward slightly. Relax your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, and legs. Keep breathing freely. Notice that when you tilt your pelvis forward, your weight shifts down toward the tailbone and your knees open a little. Also notice that when you tilt your pelvis forward, your chin goes down slightly. Slowly tilt your pelvis backward a little, so your small of the back gets flatter a little. Then slowly tilt your pelvis forward, so the small of your back arches slightly. Slowly lock your pelvis back and forth. When you flatten your back, your knees close slightly. And when you arch the small of your back, your knees open slightly. Relax your chest so it can move freely. Notice how your chest rises when you tilt your pelvis forward and sinks when you tilt your pelvis backward. Notice that your entire spine is moving up and down. Notice the head and the pelvis lock in the same direction. Therefore, if you move the head freely, the movement of the pelvis is smoother, easier, and greater. Now straighten your legs and rest for a moment. Is there any change in the way the pelvis lies on the floor? The chest, the shoulders, shoulder blades, head, any changes? Now sit up with the sole of the feet together. Put your hands behind you to lean on your hands. How do you place your hands? More or less fingers pointing toward or away from your body. Now slowly tilt your pelvis forward so your lower back arches slightly. Then return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. Relax your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, and legs. Keep breathing freely. Feel your weight shift toward the front of your sit bone as you tilt your pelvis forward. When you arch your lower back, your shoulders move back slightly. Notice that when you tilt your pelvis forward, your knees open a little. Also notice that when you tilt your pelvis forward, your body gets a little taller. Now slowly tilt your pelvis backward so your lower back rounds slightly. Then return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. Make the movement small. Just slowly tilt your pelvis back slightly. Relax your neck, shoulders, chest, stomach, and legs. Keep breathing freely. Feel your weight shift from your sit bone to the area near your tailbone as you tilt your pelvis backwards. Notice that when you tilt your pelvis back, your knees close a little. Also notice that when you tilt your pelvis back, your body gets a little shorter. Slowly tilt your pelvis forward a little so your back arches slightly and your body gets a little taller. 
then slowly tilt your pelvis backward a little. So your back rounds slightly and your body gets a little shorter. Repeat the movement several times. And when you round your back, your shoulders move forward slightly. When you arch your back, your shoulders move back slightly. Notice how the head moves up and down a little as you tilt your pelvis forward and backward. Relax your chest so it can move freely. Notice how your chest rises when you tilt your pelvis forward and sinks when you tilt your pelvis backward. Feel your weight shifting forward and backward on the sit bone. Notice how the knees open and close a little as you tilt your pelvis forward and backward. Now slowly tilt the pelvis towards the right knee a little. So your weight shift towards the right knee. Then return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. When your pelvis tilt towards your right knee, the weight of your left buttock lifts a little and your lower back arches slightly. With each movement, your head and eyes move a little towards the right and your body gets a little taller. Keep breathing freely. Notice your right shoulder is moving back a little and your left chest goes away from your left elbow. Now slowly tilt the pelvis towards the left knee a little. So your weight shift towards the left knee. Then return to the starting position. Repeat the movement several times. When your pelvis tilt towards your left knee, the weight of your right buttock lifts a little and your lower back arches slightly. With each movement, your head and eyes move a little towards the left and your body gets a little taller. Keep breathing freely. Notice your left shoulder is moving back a little and your right chest goes away from your right elbow. Slowly tilt your pelvis towards your right knee so your weight shift towards your right knee. Return to the starting position and then slowly tilt your pelvis towards your left knee so your weight shift towards your left knee. Repeat the movement several times. When your pelvis tilt toward your right knee, the leaves on your left side move closer together and arch a little. When your pelvis tilt toward your left knee, the leaves on your right side move closer together and arch a little. Notice how the head moves. Does it move? Move in the same direction or opposite? The head tends to do the same thing as the pelvis in a small measure. Because the spine moves and the cervical vertebrae moves a little. Therefore, the head moves a little. Don't move it intentionally, just observe. When the pelvis moves to the right, the head moves a little to the right. When the pelvis moves to the left, the head moves a little to the left. Compare two sides to see which one feels lighter, easier. Don't hurry, don't push. Just see which side is easier for you. Notice what is the difference. Organize your head, shoulder, and the pelvic movement to make the movement more or less equal. Lie on your back and rest a little. Note each time you lie on your back, how the way your body lies on the floor changes. You find that each movement you do Something has changed. You observe what has happened and where. You feel things like clear, square, flatter on the floor. That means it is usually not quite like that. Sit up again. This time, lean on your forearms and elbows behind you. Put your legs again with the sole of the feet together. Now again, move your pelvis towards your right knee back to the middle, and then move your pelvis toward your left knee. Repeat the movement several times. And observe how the chest goes away from the floor as you move to the side. When you move your pelvis toward your right knee, left side of the back arches. When you move your pelvis toward your left knee, right side of the back arches. 
Continue moving side to side. Putting your palms on the floor is easier. Make sure to place the elbow back now so the head and neck feels more comfortable and easier. Stop that. Now push the abdomen out and pull it in. Tilt the pelvis forward and backward. Observe how much the knees open and close. Are the hip joints looser than before? Now make that movement simple and a little faster several times. Now lie on your back and rest a little. Imagine when you sit up, you sit on a big flat round clock dial painted on the floor. 12 o'clock to the front, 6 o'clock to the back, 3 o'clock to the right, 9 o'clock to the left. Sit up. Now sit on the dial of the big clock. Lean on your hands behind you. Put your legs with the soles of your feet together. And move your abdomen forward. Lock the pelvis forward. Means you move to the 12 o'clock. Feel your weight moving towards the front of your sit bones and your body gets a little taller. Draw your abdomen. Lock the pelvis backward. Means you move to the 6 o'clock. Feel your weight shift from your sit bone to the area near your tailbone, and your body gets a little shorter. If the pelvis is not moving, move your hand a little bit back to lean on your hands behind you to allow your pelvis to move easier. Now come to the 12 o'clock, then move an arc to the 3 o'clock, and back to 12 o'clock in an arc. Slowly pass through each hour. 12, 1, 2, 3, and come back, 3, 2, 1, 12. Now keep on doing that and adding an hour each time and back. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, and back through an arc, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and back, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And back, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And back, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. To make the movement easier, make the movement smaller. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and back, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and back, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and back, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and back, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and back. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. Now make complete circle in clockwise. Move slowly to improve your awareness. Then you will see that you become clear about yourself. Make the movement smoother by relaxing your neck, back, stomach and legs. Feel your weight rolling around each hour of the clock. Notice how your body gets a little taller as you reach 12 o'clock and a little shorter as you reach 6 o'clock. Feel your head, chest, back and legs following the movement of your pelvis. Now stop it and lie on your back.
Sit up and put your hands behind you and put the sole of your feet together and slowly roll your pelvis in a counterclockwise direction. Start at 12 o'clock with the back arched and slowly roll your pelvis to the left, moving to 11. Then move back along the arc to 12 and go on and adding an hour each time. 12, 11, 10 and back, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, and back, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, and back, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and back, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and back, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and back. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and back. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and back. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and back. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, and back. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Make complete circles in counterclockwise. Make the movement smoother by relaxing your neck, back, stomach, and legs. Feel your weight rolling around each hour of the clock. Notice how your body gets a little taller as you reach 12 o'clock and a little shorter as you reach 6 o'clock. Feel your head, chest, back, and legs following the movement of your pelvis. Now move two circles in clockwise and two circles in counterclockwise. Easy and simple movement. Lie on your back and rest a little because probably the hands are tired. Now see how this affects settling of the pelvis and the legs on the floor and the chest and the shoulder blades and tonus of the body and observe how you breathe. It becomes different. As you breathe in, does the abdomen moves first and then the chest? As you breathe out, does the abdomen sinks first, then the chest? Now, if you want to see what you are doing, do it intentionally opposite. When you breathe in, Lift the chest first, then the abdomen. When you breathe out, lower, contract, and compress the chest first, and the abdomen. You see something cockeyed happens. How are you placing your palms? Put both of your palms on the floor, either side of the body. If you find difficult to put palms on the floor, Notice that you don't bend the elbows. If your hands are farther away from the body than the elbows, it's difficult to bend the elbows and put the palms on the floor. Slide the elbow a little bit toward your head on the floor so that the elbows are a little bit away from the body than the hands, and the tip of the fingers near the body. If you don't know what you are doing, you cannot do what you want. If you know what you are doing, you can do what you want. Now put the sole of your feet together. Move your pelvis to 12 o'clock. 
Slowly roll your pelvis in a clockwise direction and observe how you move the pelvis. Knees must not be strained, but open. Don't close intentionally. Slowly move your pelvis in an arc, round, then gradually every hour will become clear in your mind. If you have any little trouble in the spine, the shoulders, or on the legs, the movement is not as clear on each hour as on the others. Some hours are clear, easier than others. Notice how your head and chest are also make clockwise circular movements. Now slowly lower your pelvis in counterclockwise direction. But the intention of finding which direction, which hours are not clear or difficult to perceive. You'll find out which hours are easy, which hours are not so clear. You will see by doing that without straining. It becomes clear, better, and even now. Notice that your head and chest are making a counterclockwise circular movement. The pelvis pushes the spine, which pushes the head. Therefore, the pelvis and the head do the same thing. As you become more familiar, make the movement with pelvis and head clockwise twice, and with the pelvis and head counterclockwise twice smoothly, easily and slowly without paying much attention to the each hour, but to make a smooth turn. And you will see that it will become clear to observe hours even when you do it like that. Now stretch out your legs and rest a little. While resting, note how your body becomes flatter, lighter, and lies clear on many points that they did not lie initially. Now sit up again, lean on your forearms and elbows and the palms down. Bend your knees and the sole of your feet together. Bring your knees and feet to the most comfortable position. Now move your pelvis to 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. See how much the knees move. Can you feel your hip joint and your back are much freer? This time go from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock and go back to 12 o'clock, then to 9 o'clock, and go back to 12 o'clock. Each time you roll to the right, add an hour. Each time you roll to the left, add an hour, until it becomes full circle. Clockwise to 4, back to 12, counterclockwise to 8, back to 12. Clockwise to 5, back to 12. Counterclockwise to 7, back to 12. Each time, making sure that all hours are visited with the same kind of effort and with the same clarity of touch on the floor. Not more pressure, not less pressure than the others. All of them equal. Clockwise to 7, Back to 12, counterclockwise to 5, back to 12, clockwise to 8, back to 12, counterclockwise to 4, back to 12. Clockwise to 9, back to 12. Counterclockwise to 3, back to 12. Clockwise to 10, back to 12. Counterclockwise to 2, back to 12. Clockwise to 11, back to 12. Counterclockwise to 1, back to 12. Clockwise to 12, back to 12. Counterclockwise to 12, back to 12. 
Now lie on your back and rest a little. Again, note the changes in your body. See that your body gets lighter on the floor, more flatter, lying clearer. When you lie on the floor and do nothing, the muscle of the back should not be working uselessly and lifted off the floor. But it's not easy to achieve in one lesson. Now push your abdomen out and tilt your pelvis forward. Do you sense that the smaller back is more tensed and you have more space behind your back like it was before? When you feel your back lies flatter and get lighter and lying clear after what you have done, it shows that some trouble, some permanent contraction in the back muscle becomes useless. It was only ruining your back and interfering with your flexibility and mobility. When you recognize and feel the changes, the improvement will last longer. Now sit up and place your hands behind you and bend your legs again and put the sole of your feet together. And now move the pelvis from 12 o'clock to the 12 o'clock in clockwise and move the head in the counterclockwise. You may find it very difficult because you can think it. How can you run better? Let's explore with four corners. Tilt your pelvis and head to 12 o'clock, chin down. Pelvis to 3, head to 9. Pelvis to 6, head to 6, chin up. Pelvis to 9, head to 3. Back to pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Continue four corners, smooth and easy, and gradually introduce arc and circular movement. Feel your weight rolling along each hour of the clock. Reverse it. Tilt your pelvis and head to 12 o'clock, chin down. Pelvis to 9, head to 3. Pelvis to 6, head to 6, chin up. Pelvis to 3, head to 9. Back to pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Continue four corners, smooth and easy, and gradually introduce arc and circular movement. Feel your weight rolling along each hour of the clock. Try on your forearms with the sole of your feet together. Pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Pelvis to 3, head to 9. Pelvis to 6, head to 6, chin up. Pelvis to 9, head to 3. Back to pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Continue four corners, smooth and easy movement, and gradually introduce arc and circular movement. Feel your weight rolling along each hour of the clock. Now reverse it. Pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Pelvis to 9, head to 3. Pelvis to 6, head to 6, chin up. Pelvis to 3, head to 9. Back to pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Continue four corners, smooth and easy, and gradually introduce arc and circular movement. Feel your weight rolling along each hour of the clock. Now try on your back with the soles of your feet together and the palms of your hands on the floor. Pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Pelvis to 3, head to 9. Pelvis to 6, head to 6, chin up. Pelvis to 9, head to 3. Back to pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Continue four corners, smooth and easy, and gradually introduce arc and circular movement. Feel your weight rolling along each hour of the clock. Now reverse it. Pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Pelvis to 9, head to 3. Pelvis to 6, head to 6, chin up. Pelvis to 3, head to 9. Back to pelvis to 12, head to 12, chin down. Continue four corners, smooth and easy, and gradually introduce arc and circular movement. 
material weight rolling along each hour of the clock. Rest for a moment. When you achieve the smooth circular motion of the head and the pelvis without forcing yourself, you find the whole body gets so nicely tuned up, and no meditation will do better. Now stand up. Notice how lighter and taller you are. Do you sense that a minimum muscular effort will move your body with equal ease in any desired direction? Walk around and see what it feels like. Notice the new flexibility in your hips, back, and legs. Explore your pelvic and head clock in standing and walking. Thank you very much. Have a day that is empowered.